Okay, bet you weren't expecting this one. You're thinking, well, yeah, I didn't expect this one. I don't even know what the hell this is. But let me be your guide in Hustle Chummy for the SG-1000. It wouldn't be a Sega month without a surprise appearance from Sega's arguably least known console. So Hustle Chummy is a fairly straightforward affair. Just use your little firewall, fireballs to lay waste to the infidels. He ya Death to America! And you also have to uh, collect food and uh, bring it back to your little hole. But the trade-off is, if you uh, you pick up too much food, you slow down. That's what happened to Nick Okado Avocado. He, he played too much uh, Hustle Chummy for the SG-1000. So yeah, the whole game's pretty much this. I mean, uh, video games were, uh, were uh, quite simple back then. Just do it over and over again until you get bored or you get Alzheimer's or something causes you to stop playing this. As long as we're here, let's talk about the history of the SG-1000. Yeah. Um, the SG-1000 <clears throat> released in the uh, early 80s and it was uh, comparable in overall hardware power to the uh, ColecoVision and at the time that would have been about a generation behind what the competition was doing because the Famicom was out in Japan by then and compared to the Famicom this was kind of sucky so uh, the SG-1000 didn't really go anywhere unfortunately and that was that so uh, I guess this is gonna be a pretty short episode I think you've pretty much seen all that there is to see but before we go I want to demonstrate the game's delightfully obnoxious game over music so uh, let, let me just uh, do my impression of a uh, I'm going to stop this joke in mid-sentence before I say something regrettable, but uh, just hold on, we're going to get that game over music. God, don't you just love that? Blah, 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 I feel like that could become some kind of meme someday. But it won't, because no one knows about Hustle Chummy for the SG-1000.